Hey there, welcome back to Reddit Dating, the best channel for Reddit cheating stories. Be sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification for more stories like these. Now, let's get into the video. 15 years together 13 married 4 young kids wife's EA came out a month ago. Very sorry for the super long-winded nature of this, but want to give as much detail as possible for as accurate advice as possible. Also, this is my first time posting on Reddit so not quite sure how it all works, but spent all day reading stories hereafter stumbling upon this subreddit and many of them, and the advice offered spoke to me. I'm 36 am, my wife is 33, we have four young children, all under 11, we have always talked between ourselves that we felt we had a lot of love for each other and filled each other's gaps well and were very happy to be around each other as well as happy to take care of each other, I think this is a fair assessment of our marriage until three years ago we both had large trust issues develop within six months of each other. It's ultimately my fault she ended up pregnant with our fourth child, she wanted to be done at three and I still held out hope for another one or even two. So I told her I wouldn't support permanent protection when she brought it to me and through not enough care by me, we ended up pregnant with baby number four, she was not happy, to say the least. About six months before the baby came, I heard a rumor that my wife was cheating on me from my wife. Allegedly she had heard it from a mutual friend and wanted to warn me of it before I heard it separately, I did not believe her when she told me there was no validity to this rumor and she claimed to have only interacted with this man alone once and it was fully innocuous by her account she had no idea where any basis for this rumor came from. After lots of talking, I decided I had to take her word on it with such flimsy evidence and so much at stake in our marriage with the kids and a mostly day-to-day -day happy life. So there's the basis of our marriage falling apart and getting worse the past three years she resented me for getting pregnant a fourth time and me not being able to let this rumor go and worsening my trust issues. Continued. Update. Since March things have gone significantly downhill from even the bad of the two years prior to that we were fighting more than ever, I was becoming more controlling and paranoid thinking I could prevent her cheating on me. She was growing more and more tired of putting up with my controlling behavior, which I admit, it was. We had two or three fights over the summer that ended with us saying we should divorce. I took them as just fights and a few days later or week later we'd settle back into our normal she took the fights and talk of divorce more seriously she started looking into lawyers and what divorce entailed. This is when her, as far as I know, emotional affair started. She called the man from the rumor three years ago allegedly to seek out divorce advice as he had recently gone through one though she admitted it quickly became more than that though and she said she did it knowing we would be done if I found out about it but from her perspective, the marriage was over and she thought she was protecting herself and her ability to take care of the kids by being proactive and having a head start on divorce. Going through the phone records I can see that this was a daily thing, talking 1 to 3 hours on the phone and 100 to 180 texts a day for 3 solid months, every day while she was at work. During this time she might go 1 or 2 days in a row without texting me, which when I brought to her she always chalked up to being too busy while at work. We went on family vacations, did lots of outdoor family activities, and were mostly happy together during this time she would not contact him at all during these one to three day family deals, but always write back to it as soon as we were home, and she was back to work. In October we had a big fight about me being controlling, and her not being happy and for the first time in our marriage, I literally sat down for a long time and thought about what a divorce would really look like, what it would mean for our kids, our day to day lives our finances, and most of all how much I'd honestly miss her if she was gone. Update. Couple this with my sudden epiphany that no matter how many rules I put in place, and how controlling I was if someone wanted to cheat they would find a way. I came to the realization that I needed to do better for her and start being better, or I was actually going to lose her, and our lives were going to turn upside down. So I made small changes not earth-shattering, but obviously noticeable changes, and we started getting along better she seemed happier I was happier and for the first time in a while I was hopeful that we could be happy partners again. She noticed the changes and noticed things were getting better between us in this month's time because at the end of October she told the OM that she couldn't continue their relationship because she could make herself be okay with it when she thought our marriage was over, but she couldn't deal with the guilt of it now that she felt we had a chance again. The phone records back up her story that she ended it with him when she said she did she went from all day every day to no contact for a week and then three quarters days between contact after that. 
She says she felt bad for using him because he was hoping they were building towards a relationship when our divorce was done and she just needed someone to fall back on and help her get started in life on her own and was therefore trying to let him down easily. Of course just when things seem to be going well you just know it's all going to hit the fan. I got the cell bill on 11 to 11 and noticed her calls and texts were considerably higher than mine, dove deeper in and found that 80% of those calls and texts were to one number, dove deeper yet and found that it had been going on for three solid months with the same number. Finally after much cross-referencing and researching I figured out the number was a work number for the man she was accused three years ago of having an affair with my heart sank I started shaking uncontrollably, I couldn't hardly breathe. I was holding on to hope that it was anyone but him telling myself we could work through it if it was anyone but him, but as soon as I saw his face I knew our marriage was done. I confronted her later that day she of course cried her eyes out and admitted to everything before I presented my evidence that went mostly along with what she was telling me. I do believe her that it didn't become physical because she gave me tremendous detail about their discussions, offered up her phone for me to retrieve deleted text convos, and she was noticeably sad when I showed her current pictures slash videos of him, and how much he had changed since she last knew him three years ago. We spent three days and nights up together talking about everything almost no sleep, and no eating going over all our problems that lead us here, and how stupid we both were for letting our marriage get to this point we're both full of regret for letting our relationship deteriorate this much and sadly felt closer to each other in the days after than we have in years. Right from the initial confrontation I told her we were 100% done there was nothing she could do to gain my already fragile trust back and there were no scenarios that could lead us back to a relationship. We sat each kid down by themselves and had long talks and lots of emotions with them all letting them know we would not be together anymore but we'd always both be their parents and always love them and always work together to take care of them. That was six weeks ago we are still living together just to make basic day-to-day -day life work for now especially with all the COVID stuff throwing wrenches in every direction, as well as making the transition hopefully easier on the kids, but I have not wavered an ounce from my position that we're 100% done and all our conversations about the future have had that as a baseline understanding. We're saving money for the divorce, I'm helping her look for a house, we're talking about how we can make our schedules work together. I type all this out and give you all this background to ask this. Am I being unreasonably stubborn in my unwillingness to consider saving our marriage? I am known for being very definitive, logical, and a bit harsh amongst my friends and family so it's very hard to consider tolerating an affair, even if it was legitimately not physical which I can't know for sure. When they all know it's a deal breaker for me I am going to miss my wife terribly, and her I she has said repeatedly she threw her life away for nothing, and she would never even considered contacting him if she had only known I even just still wanted her. I don't want to let my kids down, I feel terrible that I let my wife down so much that she was that miserable, though still no reason whatsoever to cheat end the relationship first, I'm sorry for the incredible length of this post, and if you've read through it I want to tell you I am very thankful for you taking the time and thought to consider offering advice, and I do promise in return I will read all offered and think on it. Thank you again, truly.